What's going on guys? Waco from The Rake Magazine here with Guillaume Ledet, the CEO of Vulcan. How are you, sir? Uh, very fine. Uh, very happy to to see you again. The pleasure is mine. I feel like we just saw each other. Yes, but... uh, short time. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. So uh, tell me a little bit about when you know you had the idea to revive Vulcan and to recreate this iconic watch to cricket, which was the original mechanical alarm watch. Yes, exactly. So um, uh, the first thing I wanted to make at Vulcan uh, to revive was obviously the, the cricket because it's the, the manufacturer movement. Uh, it's the, the president watch. Uh, you have the most uh, storytelling, the most... Uh, uh, things to say and uh, and also there is a, a true uh, value in the watchmaking industry with this watch with this complication with the alarm function so you have uh, you have everything you you need uh, you have the the beautiful design uh, the the hands uh, the the dial everything is perfect the case uh, the proportion uh, you have nothing to uh, to reinvent the wheel uh, you just have to to stick to the the best one that has been made so you check uh, what uh, Eric Wynn is selling, uh, you check what uh, Odin Kishop is selling, you check uh, what the collectors are speaking in the, in the forums and, uh, and you see, okay, it, it, it has to be this one. And, uh, and then I, I go to the lock, I, I, to, uh, I speak with the, the, the last uh, watchmaker that was still in, uh, in charge when I, when I arrive. Now they are free, uh, free, uh, free to four uh, because uh, bah, we sold watches. <laughs> and, uh, Good job. And they were not uh, used to that uh, last uh, few years, so that's that was the the cool thing. So, uh, so as uh, as was saying earlier, so I, I launched like uh, one year ago. Uh, I started to work on it, and we relaunched the, the pre-order on the cricket uh, mid September, and we will deliver the 151st pieces uh, in uh, December. Uh, uh, end of November, December. Uh, how many watches were pre-ordered, if, if I may ask? Yeah, we, we, like uh, 200, uh, 200 pieces. So we sold at, uh, yes, uh, a bit more than, yes, uh, 4,000. Uh, so it's uh, around a million already, a bit more. Wow. Uh, and uh, also we have the, the commercial team uh, uh, with uh, also turning uh, to the to the wall cell uh, that is reopening the shop that were waiting for Vulcan to come back because right. uh, there is a, uh, a very good energy and and people like this brand. Enfin, there is a, a good feeling of, about this brand, uh, about this product, uh, about the cricket, the president watch, and also uh, with the, the rest of the collection that I, I introduced you. And um, and so it's very easy to work. In fact, if you just stick to what people really want and also to have the good price strategy, uh, don't put it at uh, ten thousand USD and uh, nobody will uh, will buy it. Uh, think also sell out and uh, and check the price of what it costs on the secondary market to understand what the people are ready to pay for a Vulcan. And, uh, and the good things to, for this project also is the manufacturing movement. So uh, when I arrived, there was a, a few components, a few movements already in stock. And, uh, but we had to, to produce again, to buy a new components, so to uh, assemble new movement, extra movement, because the, the stock was not enough. And, uh, and also thanks to the, the collaboration we are doing together so, um, and the pieces that we are launching. So, um, so it helped to uh, re-industrialize uh, Vulcan. Uh, to uh, hire so new people and to make the story uh, great again. So, well, well, you certainly have, and I, you know that this model that you've created is uh, so sensitive in terms of its respect to historical detail. From a value proposition, it's phenomenal, and in terms of what the cricket represents as a unique watch, that's yeah. a mechanical alarm watch, which is the original mechanical alarm watch exactly. is phenomenal. But I remember when you you know you show me the designs of this, I was like, wow, I'd love to do a, a version of this watch. And you're like, well, what's the inspiration? And it's like, you know, I want to do the ultimate in terms of elegance. I want to do kind of a play boy version of this you know <laughs> if, if Agnelli was still here with us you know which version of the cricket would he wear yeah. and so we started to conceptualize a little bit I think we thought initially to do a salmon dial yeah. but then we decided to go for a two-tone dial which has kind of a sector dial design to it and these large oversized Arabic indexes as well that have been applied mm -hmm. and I think the result is something that's pretty sublime I mean yeah. how do you feel but, uh, to be honest it's the, my prefer my favorite one from uh, from the beginning from the from the new, because it's also a new dial. For this one, we didn't start from something we saw in the book, and uh, and that's what I do uh, usually. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not a genius. I just uh, use the genius from the past, and uh, and this one I use your your inspiration and your your kind of genius for this because uh, it's uh, 
It's superb, uh, superb dial. And, uh, well, thank you very much. It's probably the one I will wear the most. Oh yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> fantastic. We decided to do the 39 mm version of it because, and I know you have both 36 mm and 39 mm, and mm -hmm. both are doing equally well for you. Yeah. Just because I feel that that you know, for the majority of wrists, it's it's just like the perfect proportion. Yeah. And also, to be fair, it's because I'm really old and my eyesight's very bad now, <laughs> so I need a slightly larger watch. Okay. But I also love. That's why you asked for the 39. Uh, okay, indeed. Now I understand the backstory. <laughs> but on, on the wrist, you know, you look at it; it's incredibly balanced as well, and. I love this sort of beautiful color code. Like I love the the salmon. Or I actually think of it as like the cheeks of a woman when she's blushing. Yeah. When you, you tell her a really dirty joke, uh, <laughs> right? And then I never <laughs> me, me neither. But so I write in novels. <laughs> and in combination with the you know sort of raised center of the watch, which has got this beautiful black um, uh, treatment to it, and this kind of compass effect, and then that with the black strap as well. I think it makes it a really cool uh, tuxedo watch. What I, I love also is the idea that you have mechanical alarms, so yeah. you can. This at which point that you would like to exit uh, the exactly. evening, right? So, and, and for if me, you have a bad date, you know, you can just uh, turn your alarm. And, yes. Uh, oh, sorry, I have to go. Uh, it, it's time. Or, <laughs> however, if you have a, a you know nocturnal rendezvous, which yeah. you, this okay. is a wonderful reminder that it's time for you to depart the party and find uh, that person that you're supposed to be spending time with. Exactly. Right? So, I think that this watch, in every level, it kind of you know, it's a wonderful from an emotional perspective, wonderful from a style perspective, great from a value perspective, yeah. and you know, thanks to you, great from a design perspective. So, thank you very yes. much, sir. Thank you, Wayne. Cheers. Cheers.